The sun was still well below the trees when we arrived at Birkenfield early on Saturday morning. The medium approach medium signal at CP10 was good news that Q008 was soon to arrive. Q008, we've got a medium approach medium set south, main track, middle siding, CSX, 5426 south. With a much better sun angle, CSX Q003 comes out of the siding. One of the things that makes CP10 so unique is the siding itself. The layout of the siding includes a third track called the middle siding, which allows three trains to meet all at once. Q003 also features a DPU. A DPU is a remote controlled engine in the middle of the train. DPUs allow for longer trains with only one crew. This is a feature of precision scheduled railroading. DPUs also greatly reduce the coupler slack as opposed to all head end power. The engineer is also able to fence the DPU in which he's able to control the head end engines separately from the remote controlled ones. Next on the list of trains was Q007 with two CSX Tier 4s, which, in my opinion, have great sounding K5 HLs. This train was unexpected, a late BNSF crude oil K160 with two BNSF Jeevos and one CSX ES40 DC. Unfortunately, I accidentally had my camera set to autofocus, which caused some focusing glitches in this clip.
We were about to move to a different location when we heard a different train giving a marker check to K160. We all appreciate it, man. Y'all have a nice, safe CSX day. This prompted us to stay at CP10 until the other train arrived. Due to the surprise, shooting handheld was all I could do. Main clear signal, CP10. Try one single main, Q253 into 341. This train was Q253 pulling away from its stop at the siding. The last train for the day was at a new spot that I had never been to before. It is in Closter, New Jersey and is milepost 15 on the CSX River Line. This train is K680 calling the automatic signal. Right where K680 is now is where the uphill begins. The engineer gives his old Dash 9 a few notches, causing a big black smoke show to occur.